at the Institute of Philosophy, a number of people are working on logic. And this is not only the case today, but also in the past. For example, in the 1950s, one of the most important logicians worldwide used to work here in Leuven. His name was Robert Fess, and he collaborated a lot with logicians from the United States, such as Haskell Curry, they wrote books together, etc. Nowadays, um, people working on logic are mainly situated in the Center for Logic and Analytic Philosophy, which is one of the research units inside the Institute of Philosophy. Also, I myself work there, and my research um, basically is about um, epistemic logic, which is a particular kind of modal logic, and also about logical geometry. Now, logical geometry is about how we can visualize certain reasoning patterns, how we can draw certain diagrams, um, to visualize the logical relations that hold between certain propositions. And these can be propositions from propositional logic or modal logic or any kind of logic. And I really like the idea of having um, the opportunity to collaborate with philosophers here at the Institute, but also with people at other faculties in other disciplines. And I think it's great that logic um, allows one to do exactly these kinds of things. My own interest in logic actually started out while I was studying linguistics. No? Uh, so that brings me to the question of where logic can be useful in other disciplines. No? And linguistics is one field where I think it can be useful. I have myself had a lifelong interest in application of logic to linguistics, especially uh, in the construction or in the use of logic uh, as a theory of meaning for natural languages. There has been initiated a paradigm called Montague grammar in that respect, and it, has be it, becomes, it is becoming more and more clear that important results are being reached there. However, there's also another thing, namely, pertaining to my own interest, namely there are applications of logic in, let's say, general philosophy, and especially then general analytic philosophy in such disciplines as epistemology, philosophy of language, uh, philosophy of science, and I would just mention one uh, element there that has that that I've been interesting for a long time. They are the so-called limitative theorems in logic. One of them is the Gödel incompleteness theorem. Now it turns out that that theorem and others that are related to it may provide an answer to a deep question concerning the nature of human thinking. thinking especially whether or not it is a mechanical or so-called algorithmic thing or not. So that also pertains to artificial intelligence, which I'm also interested in, and the production or the simulation of human intelligence in general. I'm interested in the uh, interplay between logic and probability. My work starts from a basic observation. Propositions that are logically necessary have probability one, but the opposite is not always the case. So there are propositions that have probability one, but that are not logically necessary. So their negation may occur. And there is a way uh, to avoid this. And then we need infinitesimal probabilities. And to show that we can work consistently with infinitesimals, we need a branch of mathematical logic called model theory. So I like it how logic enters my work on a very basic level with a question, but the answer requires a more advanced uh, study of logic. So most of my research is situated in philosophical logic, which is a form of applied logic, which means that we apply methods, techniques, results from logic to topics from outside logic uh, proper. And in this instance, philosophy. So we use those methods, techniques and results and apply them to, uh, for instance, theory of knowledge. What is knowledge? What are the limits of knowledge? Philosophy of language. So, uh, for instance, descriptions, conditionals, indexicals. Philosophy of science and so on and so forth. So it's ideally suited for people who have a very wide ranging Interests. Uh, many of our decisions depend on dealing with uncertainty, but uh, in general we are not so good at dealing with probabilities. Our intuitions fail us. And I think it would be helpful if we have a theory that um, respects some of our intuitions better. So I hope that infinitesimal probabilities can help in this way. 
I think uh, one of the appeals of logic, philosophical logic, is that you can study um, uh, a field that is traditionally situated within the humanities from a more mathematical perspective. And finally, I also think that um, one of the nice things about um, philosophical logic is that it easily lends itself to excursions in uh, other sciences. So uh, linguistics, uh, psychology, computer science, there are lots of connections, so that also makes it uh, an interesting field.